All right. Well, I got I'm going to tell one more story because this is a vinyl records podcast, right? This vinyl is a vinyl podcast. record podcast. That's correct. Okay. So talking about vinyl records, I, you know, I grew up in Los Angeles at the, like, just right at the, I was just the wrong age to be at all the Starwood shows and all the, the early germs and black flag shows like the late seventies punk rock in LA. I was a little too young, Mm -hmm. but I was the perfect age to kind of get the influence of a lot of that stuff, whether it was, you know, the BMX skateboard scene in the Valley, the San Fernando Valley or the punk rock scene in Hollywood. I was, you know, we'd drive by the Starwood all the time as a kid and I'd see punk rockers and think, Ooh, that's cool. And Anyway, right around the corner from my house in the Valley, there was a store called Licorice Pizza, which is a very influential record store in Los Angeles. And um, there was a couple of different sh- stores around, but I-, I lived right by the one that was off of Laurel Canyon at Victory in-, in the Valley. So my friends and I, we would, I was about, in 1981, I was nine years old. So we would ride our bikes over to Licorice Pizza and they would, they would give out licorice at the, at the counter and free licorice to hit customers that wanted it. And we would get on the nerves of the like, you know, uh, high fidelity, Jack Black kind of like record collectors behind the, behind the counter. And we'd come in and we'd get licorice and we'd flip through records and look at, you know, bizarre album covers and weird stuff. And anyway, so 1981, one day we're leaving the store with a couple of my nine-year-old buddies and there's a stack of records by the door. It's a stack of these little 45s. And they're in these white sleeves that have licorice pizza printed on the outside of them. And there, there's like a stack. There, there must have been 50 of them. So we grabbed like 20 or 30 of them and just ran out the door, you know, because they were free. Right. So we grabbed these records. And on the record, it says Black Flag, Thirsty and Miserable. And we we're like, what is that? <laughs> Black Flag? What? So we, we took the records to my friend's brother and my friend's brother put, the, put one of the records on and it was loud, it was crazy. I kind of liked it, it was, it was awesome, but my friend's brother was really into like ACDC and Led Zeppelin and he was like, oh, this is punk crap. Get rid of this, this is crap. So we, you know, we said, okay, all right. So we took these 20 or 30 seven inches and we rode on our bikes to the top of a bank a bank parking lot and we were at the top of this bank parking lot. We're probably about four stories up and we just start winging these seven inches into traffic. We threw, we threw them and broke them against cars and we threw them into to buses passing by. And we were just having a blast being punk kids, throwing punk records off the top of this, of this, of this bank right by the record store. So anyway, in hindsight, a couple of years later, I realized that we threw out these unicorn record seven inches that, that they did special for licorice pizza that were black flag. And, and right now, if you go on Discogs or one of these other places to try to find them, a good mint copy is about 250 to 350 bucks. It's like, and I'm just thinking in my mind, I, I can still see it in my mind, these like <laughs> black frisbees just flying against cars and breaking and shattering and us laughing and we had a blast destroying all those records so that's my fun vinyl record story for you. 